Here is a Muppet News Flash. There is no news. Peace go with your brother. Interesting. Interesting. One of my YouTube subscribers, uh, Mr. Andy Fisher, big up Mr. Andy Fisher, turned me on this week to uh, photographer Vivian Meyer. Some of you may have heard of her. I'd never heard of her before. And so, of course, what do you do? You go on to Google. This is the information age, you know. And you do your research. And I was really impressed with what I saw. You know, it's, it's such a great story that sucks you in. Here is, in case you don't know, here is a woman in the 1950s, a nanny, a secret street photographer. You know, by day she was a nanny. Well, most parts of the day she was a nanny. And um, in her own time, she would go out onto the streets with her gear and take these amazing pictures. These really humble pictures that suck you in, that draw you in, you know? And she took thousands of, thousands upon thousands of images that she never let anyone see because she was a very quiet person, very personal. So she never let anyone see these, these images. And um, of course, as she got older and she hoarded them and put them into storage and stuff and pushed come to shove, she passed away. And one day these images were discovered when they were selling the lots of this storage to, I guess that's what happens. I always wonder what happened to your storage after it, <laughs> when you pass away, but they decided to sell the contents of a storage um, compartment and they were bought fairly cheaply. And her photos were subsequent, subsequently discovered. Yeah. So anyway, the person who looked at these photos decided or recognized that they were really good and started to, you know, share them online to massive response. So anyway, Vivian Meyer, after passing away, becomes an international success, you know, a, so a social media success. And she is heralded throughout the photography community, you know, right the way around the globe. It's, it's, a, it's a real interesting story, you know, and it sucked me in. And there's, there's a lot of information on online about Vivian Meyer and you can go and check her out. Please do go and check her out. You know, she would take the children to school, then throughout the rest of the day, wander around taking photos of people with a olden day look down roly camera, you know, film camera. And her hit rate was really phenomenal. You know, when you look at the, the negs, you know, one, two, three, four, she got a great hit rate, you know, so her technique must have been really, really, really honed. And that is, that's a really important thing. Your technique is so important um, when you're doing, well, any photography, but particularly street photography. If you want to catch your subject in a candid fashion, you know, particularly if you want to do it in a candid fashion. So, I don't know, I was really intrigued by the story. So once again, thanks to Mr. Andy Fisher <laughs> for hooking me up with that. I just love the photographs. They are, as I said, very humble, very humbling. They are, it really inspired me because I've been going through this little burnout thing, you know, January, December, January. It's always a very quiet, period and I've been going through a little bit of burnout and I left my street photography for a while but after watching a few documentaries and a few you know slideshows of some of Vivian Meyer's work it really got me back it got the juices flowing again the simplicity of her 
imagery is something that, you know, especially in this day and age with all the technical gear and technical way we look at images. You know, you have these people who send their images to YouTube channels for them to critique, which I've never really understood that, but hey. And you know, we can get really technical with our, our composition and framing our Fenibachi spirals and all that kind of stuff. And here's this nanny just going out, you know, and doing her thing and not wanting anyone to see her images only for those images to become the scrutiny of the world after she passes and she becomes an internet sensation. And I was wondering, I was, you know, really thinking about if something like that could happen today. Could that happen in this day and age with all the, the, the full on over saturated space, what we call photography and street photography. The amount of, when I go online, I see every, every day there's a different, you know, upload, there's a different behind the scenes street photography, uh, technique busting expose. You know, when people go out with a little GoPro on the top of their camera. And, and it makes me wonder whether people are really interested in your photos or is it just your technique? <laughs> Do people want to learn street photography? Are they admiring our art? Or is it just the technique? Is that what you're interested in? Do we want to just bite somebody's style and then go out and recreate that style? You know? And techniques take a, it's a, it's a hard thing. That can take five, six, seven, eight, nine, it can take a decade for your technique to improve, to, to come through, to even show itself, you know? And that was something that really impressed me about Vivian Meyer. She was a person who was prepared, who loved what she was doing so much that she didn't even want to share it with anyone. And here we are in the 21st century, you know, upload, 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 share, 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 share. And a lot of the stuff that we share doesn't even get seen. You know, it's very interesting, you know, that the algorithms, the YouTube, the um, Instagram, the algorithms seem to lock us out of the market of the audience that we are trying to reach. So in that sense, there could be, we, you could have somebody has, gifted and talented as Vivian Meyer in the 21st century, not actually getting any, any love. You know, I thought that was really um, an interesting link, parallel to what I saw on uh, some of the documentaries that I was, I was watching. So, but there's something, there's something about when a photographer dies or an artist dies or a person dies and then all of a sudden for a brief moment in time they become flavor of the month what what is that about <laughs> i know when you pass when you leave this earthly rail, realm that is a period that is that's it for you here that's the end of your story. And, and there, there's, a, there's a school of thought that says you can't judge a person while their works are still in progress because they're still growing and developing. But, I don't know, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one. It's a real tough one. But it gives us hope, I think. It gave me hope to know that maybe, <laughs> possibly, at some point, maybe living or dead, the works, because I have thousands of images, and, I, and most of us who do street photography, you know the hit rate on street photography is, you know, it's very, it's very low. You take a, you'll take thousands of images for you to find, well, maybe not thousands, but you take a whole load of images <laughs> for you to come home with one good one. 
So, I don't know. It was just a very inter interesting talk, an interesting person. And all I can say is peace. Peace. Peace go with you, Vivian. Peace go with you, Vivian. You made it, but you didn't see a penny of it. Only after you left us, people started lording over your images. Is this the future for photographers in this 21st century? Will we not live to see our peace? Peace go with you, Vivian. Peace go with you, Vivian.